welcome to Keyboard Corner. I got a little bit lost because it's the first time I've had my fingers deep inside the North Stage 3. And we are going to just freestyle it today. We had a cancellation and I just went on gut instinct and it's growing at the moment, eating a lot of curly whirly squiggles. If anyone's out there and you want to try some good sweets, refresher squashies, primo and uh, curly whirly squiggles. They're like curly whirlies but broken up. If you're in America, fly over here, buy them, it'll be worth it. That is just the very first piano that comes on. And I was playing some stuff in D. Don't know why I did that, but that's it. Yeah, I was playing in D and I whacked on a little bit of reverb. What I'd like to do is a very quick video on making. This is very selfish for me. I've got a Nord Stage 2. I want to have a little listen to the piano sounds in here and then I want to pair it with a pad and maybe if we're feeling adventurous to build a little lead sound because that is for all the stuff that I have in there and all the pedals and guitars we have when it comes down to gigging a lot of the time I think most guys will say we pair it down to a few core sounds so for me that is having a piano with a pad so let's see you're going to watch me hoof around and try to do this. This one, well, this is called the Royal Grand 3D XL. Let's have a flick through. I'll play similar things. And then we'll go um, Rob Chapman style. You know, like throw, throw the vote out there. Tell me what you dig. Uh, DJ Pete, can I just have a little bit more volume, please, sir? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, Let's mix it up and go into F uh, or C. That's the Royal Grand 3D XL. Let's flick it round. Grand Imperial. This is the Grand Lady D. Kind of dig that one. Just saying. Italian Grand, close to our friend Chris. Is it? Kind of. Good. Sounded expensive to me. Well, it is expensive. This one's called the Velvet Grand. This is a Danish pre preset. Very different sounding. You dig? Silver Grand. going and we're going to talk about this a bit. Studio Grand, too large. Catchy title. <laughs> Word, oh, wrong knob. Bright Grand, large. This is the one I normally use, so here we go. And I'll explain some other stuff. I don't know why I'm looking around, sorry. Feels familiar. Just like sitting at home, drinking the night away. Dig it. Right, so we're through those. What I realised very quickly was that there were too many for any normal human to remember what one they liked and to make any objective decisions. But was there any gut reactions there? 
I liked the second one. Yeah. Last one, Pete, like the velvet one. Now, and that comes to a good point. So, I've got a North Stage 2. I can only have the memory that's in there. I can only have one really big version of one of those pianos. So, I chose the bright one. And the reason why I do that is because my theory is sound guys, you always hear them go, <laughs> you ever found on acoustic guitar, guitar, you can hear them effing with your sound. And my idea with the bright grand is it just had more of everything. So when people chop away at it, maybe we're left with something. So that's it. That's the bright one. And you said the second one. Definitely more character. But you can hear like a little bit of a... Anyway, going down a rabbit hole. What's good is the North Stage 3 out of the bat. Look at all that choice you've got. For me, for me to, and they're big samples in there. And just in case you don't know, the large and the XL refers to the size of the data that it's using to, um, but they're not huge. You know, if you're used to sample libraries, you might look at the size of the file and go, ooh, um, not, there's not a lot in there. But what, the way they do it is the XL version here, Royal Grand, means that if I'm at the extremity, so up here, I've still got a full gamut of samples being played. The smaller ones, what, what I like is about Nord, to save space, they keep the middle the same, but maybe these ones, they steal like, samples from the edges. So the smaller ones aren't necessarily worth sounding, it's just as you kind of spread out. Um, so great for guys who are classical. You know, I spend a lot of my life just in here, sadly, in this octave, just accompanying. Whatever. <laughs> Don't go down there. Too muddy because there's a bass player. Anyway, so what I want to do, I found a sound, I think, out of that. What were you thinking again? I quite liked. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I've got to choose one. What do you reckon, guys? I'm going to go for that grand lady for the second one. Let's do that, because it's an extra dot. Anyway, we've got a piano, and I want to put a pad behind it. What I have done is, that's without reverb now. A little smidge of reverb. Probably a bit less. Cool, nice. Now, what I want to do is, I want to put a pad behind it, because... Uh, I found that a lot of the time you can layer a little pad in with a little tip and when you hold when the piano kind of decays a bit the piano um, the, the pad comes in after and just fills it out and it's often a little secret to sounding posh sometimes like guitarists you might find out oh they've got like a compressor on that makes them sound really even and killing this is my little tip to people put a pad behind it. So normally on my two, I have a sample of an analog pad. Uh, and I haven't had a look in it, so let's see if I can find that first. I'm going to turn this section off. Now we're in the sample section. Here's what we get straight off the bat. So there's a pad there. So it's very thoughtful of Nord. So the first preset if you go in the shop, there'll be a piano on. And if you turn this section on, you'd get this pad. So this is what it would be like out the shop. That's a bit whack in my book. So we want a really subtle one. So let's have a look at it and see what we can get. Now it's got a bit too much character for me, so I want to take off the top end. Luckily, I can see we've got a frequency knob. And this is in the filter section. So if I just take this off a bit, let's have a listen what that does to the sound. Cool, that's about kind of where I'm feeling it. I just want it to be there under the piano. Really. Now, what I tend to do is have a slightly slow attack. This is the amp section, so that's going to be how the synth sound reacts um, after you've hit the note. So the attack is 
how soon it will come in. Cool, because I want the poke of this to poke through whilst this is still kind of ramping up. Does that make sense? Okay, so we've got that, and then a little bit release, because when I take my fingers off uh, playing the piano, I want a tiny bit of release on the note to just linger and make me sound posher than I really am. I'll crank that up so you can hear it a bit better. Cool. Now, it's quite, uh, I'm sticking with just the first one we got, but we can have a little look, keep those settings. I think if on this new, uh, on the stage three, had a nice reason why I feel a bit more comfortable about just having a go at it is so we had a lovely chap, Rob from Nord, come along. And I, if I can remember rightly, if it's got list, if I hold shift, I will get loads of crazy waves there. Maybe I want to go for the synth preset one. That's the one. Cool. Here we go. Warm pad, soft pad. Nice. So these are loads of bell pads. I think I've probably run away from where I need to be. Let's stick with soft pad, first one. Oh yeah. So we're back to that. Take that filter down. Little bit, okay, little bit of release. Softer attack. God, it's exhilarating stuff, huh? But this is it. And then what I, I would do it on every keyboard I get, so I'm just kind of showing you the really boring inner workings. So there we are. And then what I normally do is put a little bit of something wobbly, like a chorus or a pan, just to... So that's with it, this is without. This is with it. It's maybe it's a hangover from like the Junos. I just went over an old Juno and you hit chorus, it goes bing, and just gets a bit more stereo. Hopefully that sounds like that when you've got it in your ears. So it's still a little, but now, now I'm going to balance the level between them to where I want it to be, right? So, uh, so it's a little bit too present for me there. Still a bit loud. And then, just for real posh piano, what's nice is because it's modular like this, if you were doing a gig, you'd start off a... And then maybe if it's like a little bit poppy and you want it to sound a bit fat, you've got your pad behind it. That little throb of the pad, I know it sounds silly, but it just sounds nice through big speakers. Trust me. Right. And the other thing is, I reckon sometimes people like the flutter of a tiny bit of delay. So we've got a delay section here on the Nord. You can choose what bit it's on. I want it just on the piano. And we're gonna see. Just like that, really. Just really subtle and musical. Nat. Okay, let's have a play. <laughs> so we've got a dry wet mix. Feedback probably down a bit. Let's crank it in here how much feedback we got. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, do you do the same on guitar? Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> Can we be friends? Yeah. yeah! Oh, I've got a guitarist friend now. Okay, cool. And I've dialed that back a bit. And I'm going to have it in analog mode just for shits and gigs. Probably a little bit more feedback and then dial that back. pad now 
too slow on the release. That's what we want. We want to feel smug when we do that at the end. And I feel <laughs> desolation of smug. <laughs> then you send your invoice. No, right, right, cool. So it's on. <laughs> right, so that's on. Okay, let's just keep going. If you levels of poshness. And what's nice is I'm back to just a piano. Uh, And then I can just, every time. Change my life, that lick, use it every day. Cool, and then you can be like, all oh, right, put my pad in. No pad. It's cool, but the average layman won't hear that you've got a pad behind it. So they'll just be like, it feels a bit better and stronger, but not there. Anyway, and then we got our little chorus behind the pad. She gives you a little bit of throbbage. Throbby Williams. And then you got, you got, um, and then the delay. Which is just nice when you're doing twinkly winkly to it. It's all sitting well for me there. And then if we, we've got another panel behind it. This is where I go full Michael McDonald posh, right? Who doesn't? So we're now in the second panel. So imagine A here. Got a whole, you've got everything doubled up. Now when we hit these together, bang, they combine. So we can layer everything that's on the two panels together. I'm going to hit them again and just go to the B panel. So we should da -da, have nothing. It's good to know that Nord, I can still get round it, even being an old codger with my Nord Stage 2. Right, I'm going to whack on. How are we doing? Oh, you're going to get in. But I just want to say that the guys at Anderson's are super sick, and we used to have to stop for a camera, and now MacGyver slash Danish Pete has shoehorned in a spoon. <laughs> To reflect, am I right? Yeah. You can't see it, but I'm excited. <laughs> so good. He's, he's actually used a spoon, <laughs> bent it, screwed it in to the mount, and he's got the right angle that it reflects the remote control. Anyway, it's very exciting. Um, what I want to do is, let's go for the full like, LA piano sound. The LA piano sound to me is that first bit we did, which is here, uh, and we're going to go in E. <laughs> a little bit even more feedback <laughs> yeah come on right second one and then I'm gonna whack a <sighs> electric piano behind it but this is where we can choose different flavors again boys whilst we're here might as well listen to what you get as the electric pianos and this is what I'd suggest you do when you first get just have a listen choose your favorite and then go in Right, um, here we go, electric piano one. Uh, do, 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 do. Electric piano two. Electric piano three. quite nasally in here. Bright tines. Sparkle top. EP7, me, me, piano 7, mark 1, medium. Titi. I'm not kidding. So, you got a lot of choice on the roads there. And what, what might be nice is if I whack the other panel on, we'll just see how they play, how they're playing nice with the piano. 
because what I want to do is see, get something going together. So. Um, change this I mean it's just super posh McDonald isn't it but I think we've got two different reverbs on here mm. I think I'm right in that if, let, let's try something out sorry it's really boring and selfish if I whack the piano up loads of reverb right no reverb. On here, loads of reverb. Great. I know that sounds crazy, but before you shared uh, the same reverb, depending on what panel you're on. So we can have different... Is you excited? That's really exciting, is it? I'm glad I found that out. Personally, I'm very excited. I'm going to have a smidge on my piano. Probably that much. And on this, equal smidge. Combine the smidges. All right. Together. Now, see, that sounds a bit wackadoodle dandy. What we want to do is pull this back when we're on. And by the way, someone's nicked the knob. So you know who you are. You went into Anderton's, you bought one. And then someone's come in and they nicked it. Just saying. I used to do the same thing. Oh no. Hang on, where am I? Yeah, I've got to turn all this stuff on. So we got our posh piano back. There we go. But you can hear that electric piano in the background. I want to back that off. Really hard without a knob, okay? You see where it just kind of fattens out the fundamental. And I reckon I'm gonna go off piste and just have a little look for a CP80, which is the classic kind of. It was around at that LA piano time. Electric, let's go up here. Electric, clavinet, Wurlitzer, <laughs> harpsichord, digi grand. I think it'll be digi grand, you know. <laughs> Again, B. So that's it. Let me tell you about this thing. Maybe I'm sure. I met her in Guildford and her name was Brown Sugar. Yeah. So that, that's a CB80 song. <laughs> It just has like a little bit of, um, I think that's, pretty sure that uh, sounds like one to me. I'm probably wrong. I'm gonna put them together. That's what I want, I want the smugness. Anyway, that is just a little very selfish thing of uh, I let you into what I'm going to do when I inevitably save up the pennies to buy one of these and trade in my rust bucket of an old Nord Stage 2. They don't even sell them here anymore. I went to go get one to see if I could do a side by side. So that's why we had a little foray. I'd suggest going in, starting on that patch, find your favourite one and hopefully I've seen you that it's shown you. Seen you? I'm from Dorset, so right, that's, that would it would work down there. 
but just a bit of how easy it is for a layman to get around it and make some sounds and we're going to try get some other keyboards out and things today and make some fun videos but in the meantime i bought a box of chocolate cadbury's fingers that i again suggest you go and buy it thank you very much <laughs>